Editors. Exklusiv auf DRS Virus. DRS Virus. Fit und Unfit. Hello there. Uh, my name is Tom and I'm sat next to Russell. Hello. 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 Uh, <laughs> and we're in the band Editors and uh, we're going to play some of our favourite songs for you this evening here on Virus. Um, so to start, what have we got coming up? Uh, we've got Hit The City, which is uh, by Mark Lanigan off the album Bubblegum. Uh, we listened to this album a lot when we were making The Backroom. Um, Jim, Jim Abyss introduced us yeah, to, yeah. to this album. Um, he produced the first record. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so this is it, Hit The City. Sleepy. Hello there. Um, so that was Bruce Springsteen with Highway 29 and... Uh, I think I, um, you get Bruce Springsteen that's like uh, really over the top and like magic, that record, and, mm. and Born in the USA, which is great, but I also like him when he's being a bit more sensitive, I guess, and a bit, uh, bit, less, bit less fireworks. So that's him on the sensitive side. So uh, yeah, I love that song. Um, XX are next. Yeah. And they are sensitive too. Uh, Very sensitive. Yeah. They look like they cry any second. Uh, yeah. I think. Uh, Only uh, some people that are very young could make a record like this. I don't think old people can. The editors, exclusive of DRS Virus. I don't have to leave anymore. Hello. Uh, again. Again. This is uh, Editors and you're listening to Virus. Uh, you just listened to The Antlers and uh, Hospice which is uh, one of our favourite records and uh, The Antlers will be going out on tour with us uh, next year. That was actually uh, the song two yeah. from the album Hospice. Just Sorry, sure yeah. We don't yeah. want to confuse yeah, yeah. the listener. Um, There's uh, only one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and uh, uh, next up uh, is R.E.M. and uh, Sweetness Follows. Yeah, from Automatic from the People and uh, brilliant. Hey, um, so we're still here playing some of our favourite songs for you here on Virus. Um, we're editors. Um, I'm Tom and Russell sat next to me. Uh, that was Blur with Black Book, which is not on uh, any of their albums. It was a B-side, I believe, to... Is it Music Is My Radar? I think that was the name of the song. Um, anyway, Blur, obviously, come back kings this summer, kind of reuniting and... I don't know, people seem to, sometimes bands get back together and people think it's a bit naff, but for whatever reason, Blur got back together and it's been really celebrated. And that's great because they're an amazing band. So, um, yeah, that was, I, you know, they, they would have never played that song this summer, but I really like that one. It's really soulful. Um, but now we've got Bonnie Ver with Lump Sum. When was this album released? Uh, this was 2008, this album. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, amazing record. Uh, just sounds uh, very timeless. Um, Did he really like um, go up into the woods and make it on his own? Is that actually I, be what I believe so? Yeah, yeah. He's uh, um, there's some pictures of his house and it is up in the woods, <laughs> and so he can rightly uh, wear lumber lumberjack shirts, uh, <laughs> and, you know, and he's the real deal. <laughs> Here you go, Bonnevere. Bratwurst oder Open Air Festival or Club Concert? Club Concert. More intense. See the fans' eyes. Fast or slow? Slow. Everyone goes a bit too fast these days. If everyone slowed down, it'd be a better world. England or America? Uh, England. Uh, Americans are just too loud. Lake or river? Uh, river. Keep that water moving. Radio or TV? I would say TV because, you know, it incorporates all the different elements that human beings consist of. Groupie or girlfriend? Girlfriend. Just, to, just to, that's got to be the obvious answer. Rock music or electronic music? Uh, rock music, because, um, I don't know, it's a bit more real sometimes. Hello, uh, welcome back to uh, your listening. Oh, sorry, I'll start, I'll start that again. I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> um, hello, we're editors. You're listening to our playlist on Virus. Um, you just listened to Winter Sleep 
and uh, the song was called Dead Letter and the Infinite Yes. Uh, Went to Sleep um, have toured with us uh, for quite a few months and they're a great band. We've enjoyed watching them uh, every night uh, and I think you'll all agree that that record sounds brilliant. Um, next up is Talking Heads and The Great Curve, which is off Remain in Light. This is one song that pretty much every night is played in our dressing room before we take it to the stage. Um, it's just awesome. It makes you want to dance. Um, yeah. Okay, so that was Sigur Ross with Gobbledygook, one of my favourite song titles ever. <laughs> uh, Gobbledygook. And uh, um, that is off their most recent album, um, which I'm not going to begin to try to pronounce. Um, uh, but that was produced by Flood, and Flood produced our record. I don't know why I said that, but it's just a little side fact. And when we did a festival in um, Holland, uh, we were headlining our tent that we were in, and they were headlining their tent. And later on, about you know, after we'd everyone played and everything's kind of winding down on the Sunday night, out of the darkness and through the, the mist came Sigur Ross on push bikes, uh, really drunk, uh, covered in purple um, face paint, and came and hung out with them. We'd never met them before, and they came and kind of crashed through our dressing room wall on their bikes and hung out, and we drunk um, Jägermeister together, and they painted all of our faces mm-hmm. with their face paint. <laughs> It was a really bizarre evening, and uh, I don't know what to, ex- you know, knowing Sigur Ross's music, I wasn't really sure what to expect when meeting them. We'd think they'd be very serious and kind of <laughs> inapproachable, but they were like school children, <laughs> and they were wonderful. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, uh, is that what we're playing now, or what we just played? That's what we just played. Okay, um, so what we got now? We got we, the rip. Yeah, we can, this is, head. Yeah, people say we're dark. Uh, this is darker. A lot darker. Uh, hello, uh, we're editors. You're listening to our playlist on Virus. Um, just listening to Radiohead and the song Reckoner, which is off the fantastic record in Rainbows. Everyone's been um, all that like we get to the end of the decade. Everyone's talking about the best records of the year. I'm really quite surprised at how many times I've seen Kid A uh, as like one of the best records of the of the decade. It's brilliant, but it isn't as good as in Rainbows. No, it's not. It's not. It just isn't. But um, obviously, other people think differently. It's a really good sounding record. Um, uh, you can definitely, it's it, you know, it's it's nice to hear uh, the playing on it, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's really yeah. soulful. It just yeah. sounds effortless. Whereas, um, yeah, it's a, it's a brilliant, brilliant album in Rainbow. So, uh, mm. this is, I think, my favourite song of it. But I, I, I think, all, is there nine tracks, ten tracks? Mm. On nine, it? nine songs. I think they're all, no. um, they're all like you know, nine and a half out of tens. Um, Next up is um, Eddie Vedder and Rise, which is off Into the Wild soundtrack. Uh, uh, Eddie Vedder, he gets a bad rap, <laughs> always has done, but um, I don't think anybody else sings like him. I think it's uh, um, a taste thing. That's maybe, you know, people don't like him or they do love him. So mm. uh, It's weird because I never really was into Pearl Jam. I've well, listened to a few things, but it was a little bit too... Uh, I don't know, muscular for me, I guess. Mm. But um, this soundtrack they did for the, the... Oh, who's directed this? Sean Penn. Was it Sean Penn? Yeah, Sean Penn directed this film. Um, is a lot more acoustic. Uh, I mean, it's still got his kind of muscular voice on it, but I don't know, it made me think about him a bit differently. I think it's brilliant. And this is a brilliant song. Um, it's a good film, good book as well. Interesting. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd like to do... I think we'd like to do a soundtrack at, at some point if we ever got the chance. Yeah. If anyone asked us. Anyway, yeah, this is Eddie Vedder with Rise. Hello, we're editors, uh, and yeah, and you're listening to Virus. I uh, hope you're enjoying uh, the songs that we've chosen for you. It's quite a um, chilled out selection of songs. I uh, it's quite uh, most of them are quite mellow. Yeah, so yeah, you're not too relaxed. Yeah, um, that was the good, the bad, and the queen. Um, we'd already played some Blur earlier. Uh, we're big fans of uh, Damon Albarn. Thing. He has uh, a lot of um, good things going on, and all the different projects have their own uniqueness. Um, That's one record I'm quite intrigued about next year is um, Gorillas. Yeah, I'm intrigued to hear that. And if he does another good, the Bad and the Queen record as well, absolutely. Which yeah. He's uh, mentioned, I think. So, um, yeah, uh, we'll we'll end with a 
little bit of a banger. Uh, this is uh, Jesus Walks by Kanye West. Uh, we played this uh, a lot uh, in our dressing room on previous tours, but um, yeah, it's... Uh, He'll get bit, your body grooving. He's a bit of a burk, isn't he, can you? <laughs> he is a bit of a burk, this, yeah. This is, this is a good tune. <laughs> okay, so that was um, Can You US with Jesus Walks, and we've been editors, or Tom and Russell from editors, um, playing some songs for you here on Virus. Um, so thank you for listening. I we'll hope you like the songs. Hope, um, I don't know. Hope it, yeah, I hope you liked them. And uh, um, we'll see you soon. So goodbye. Goodbye from me. And goodbye from me. Thank you. Mm-hmm.